Hello there, Gabriel. Uh, this video is brought to you by my Patreons. Um, Ike uh, mostly came up with an idea to make this short video. Uh, basically, we are going to make a simple loop that you can do yourself in 5 minutes or even maybe 10. So it's a simple loop, something that you can edit to your heart's compass. Uh, it's super simple, super simple mesh. You can see here, it's all we're going to do is this magical, beautiful loop. Super simple stuff. Let's get started with it, okay? So let me just delete this here. Let me actually, let's start with a fresh scene. Okay, perfect. So first thing, first thing first, let me just turn on my screen share my keys. Uh, quick stuff here. Oh, okay, perfect. And I don't need you anymore. Bye. Okay, so let's start. We just press A, delete, delete to delete everything. All right. First things first, we need a cylinder to start our loop. So we have a perfect center, uh, a perfect round shape. So we press Shift A, get your cylinder stuff. In here we can add actually on the top on the bottom right we can actually change shapes of the cylinder for us uh, we're gonna work with only eight vertices here and we don't have need for a cap this is all we have here all we need ever need right so after that we just press tab to start working on it uh, first things first we press uh, one two three uh, changes the get the modes vertices is one two is edge and three is face so we're gonna work with faces first and we are going to select every single face with shift or if you want to you can press ctrl and it gets the shortest path selecting everything between them and we're gonna delete it straight up delete it and now we have half of a loop uh, now we just um, start with selecting everything else with a press r to rotate we are rotating in the y-axis so it shows up the green line for us, that is the Y. And we are going to use, instead of moving everything with the, with the, with the tool here, with the mouse, just going to use the keyboard and press 9-0, so we get a perfect 9 degree angle. Right, so super simple stuff, nothing special now. Um, let's go, let's continue. Okay, we now want to work with the edge selection. We go into edge selection here, we're number two, select the top of our, of our loop. And instead of like moving every single part here, like we are doing here right now with G, press G to move stuff first. And doing this way, which creates some really terrible stuff. Let's go Ctrl Z here for a quick while. Right, what we're gonna do, we're gonna use is proportional editing, which the shortcut is okay on the keyboard. We press O and we can have a lot of settings here, a lot of options here. Um, what we want to use here, since the loop is a straight line, is linear. Now with linear here, we can actually press G again here. And since we are moving on the X axis now, we're moving horizontally, we press X. And you can see here, we are moving both the, the, front, the first edge and the second one. But actually we want everything, so we scroll down a little bit more and we can have like more control over, over more and more mesh. And I feel like something like this, it's pretty okay for what we want to use now. Uh, go ahead and turn it off, of course. And we have half a loop now. So what we do now, now we want to uh, get this part Copy it, rotate it around, and join them together so we have a, a, our, our loop. So what we're going to do now is actually we have this, the top edge here, selected. We're pressing Shift S, and it brings up this menu here. What we want to do is actually use the 3D cursor and get it into position, into the, into the mesh, we're, into the selection we are using. So we go here and use this. So here you can see the 3D cursor here, and we want to move uh, the object around it. So we press here and go into 3D cursor, perfect. And now let's select everything here, pretty nice. We press Shift D to duplicate, like so. 
We are still in edit mode by the way. And now since we have this already, we press R, which brings us to to this rotating state, which is rotating uh, like uh, the position we are in the camera. So it's using the camera to rotate. So if we were like this here, it rotates around us. That's not what we want. We want to rotate into the Z axis, which is the vertical one. So when, once we press Z, you can see the blue line here, and this is what we want. Uh, for Aegis with preci precision, we are going to use the keyboard. Again, this is a, a half, half a circle, so 180. And we can press right click or enter now, and we have everything done here. So that's it, we already have our loop here. Very simple stuff. And... And, um, okay, so, you can see here, we're not connected. It's not connecting everything. This is problematic because once we go here and add a solidifier, see here, we're missing everything. So, let's keep the solidifier for now here. And what we want to do now is actually go into, into the edit mode again. And press A. Select everything. And... Now the shortcut is Alt M to create a. We're merging the pieces together. We're merging meshes together, and the one you want to use is by distance. This means that anything between this value here, the merge distance, is gonna is gonna merge on itself. By default, it's a very very small number, and it's because it's just for things that are actually on top of each other. Right, so we already have a pretty nice loop here. Sorry for the fall. Alright, so what we're we doing next? Uh, first things first, I just want to increase the viewport here. So we have a, a smoother loop. Perfect. And we're adding a solidifier now. So what this does is create a very thin solidifier. Up, uh, uh, create the shape that is like a... Uh, board, uh, this shape is basically this shape doesn't have a, a hmm, what is the f the word is doesn't have a, a um, it's not solid let's say this way solid fire of course and you're giving it thickness basically so what we want to do is something like this which you can see here it's it's very nice but it, it can be better so. The way you do this is by, instead of using offset minus one, which is just pushing forward, we want to use one. So it creates a, uh, instead of being here, see here, it's here. So if we go this way, it's just, you can see here in the screen basically. So for us, works better in this case is one. Perfect. And we have a loop ready. Perfect. Uh, one thing extra I want to go ahead is actually go here. Uh, this is actually just like us working out to make it even better. So we just go in here, press E to extrude and Y. So we can give it a little bit of a smoothing in and in the starting finish. Very simple here. Perfect. And to finish off, we just need to finish up this weird uh, round end for it, which we're going to do by adding a, a crease for it. So we select one side, right click, and go into edge crease, which is shift E. We just pull it up. Perfect. Now we have a, a great loop here. Same thing here, by the way, shift E, and we press 1. It's the same thing as pulling up. If you want to remove it, shift E minus 1. Super simple. And okay, this is pretty much it. Now all we need to do is shade a smooth it, add uh, an auto smooth for it, and we're done. This is it. This is the loop that you need. Uh, this is a super simple process. Uh, you can change it anything you want now because everything is done here. So we can just close this off here. And you can see here, the mesh is still here. It is a super simple mesh. You can do pretty much anything you like with what you have right now. Um, for example, we can go here and extrude forward. Again, Shift E to turn it off. And we can just add stuff here. Control R to to add a, an edge loop, so we can create a, a cut here. 
we can create extrude here and you can see here you can do almost anything you like now it's a super simple tool it's a super simple uh technique that you can use and you can apply for many many things for example here i can do something like this super fast super clean and super nice and that's pretty much it people i hope you guys enjoyed the sh uh, enjoy the tutorial if you guys enjoyed the tutorial please leave a like share and subscribe for us see you guys next time